name is Ewa Sanchez, um, and my topic is attorneys. Um, first of all, I'm a major in political science, and I'm a pre-law student. Now, according to the Bureau of Labor Statistics, .gov, a site that is constantly regulated by the, our U.S. national government, states that employment rate for attorneys will increase 10% by the year 2022. Now, what that means is that people or students that are trying to be in the field of law will have a good chance of getting an employment. But yet, you guys might think 10%, that's a little bit, right? But not really. According to pre-law students, that's a huge bump for them because law attorneys is a very competitive field. And like I said, I'm a political science major and I'm a pre-law student. And like many of you, I've also seen a lot of injustice done to minority groups. And for me, I want to be able to be a person that helps minorities in the field of law because I know a lot of minorities don't know the law as much as um, sheriffs do. So they take advantage of that, and I want to be able to protect <coughs> attorneys from them. Okay, so first of all, I'm going to talk about what the ideal image of an, a defense attorney is. Second, I'm going to talk about what, what types of attorneys there are because there's not just one defense attorney and what types of skills one must have in order to become an attorney. And third, I'm going to talk about how an attorney gets certified in the state of California. So what is an attorney? According to the freedictionary.com, a site that is constant that, that many people go to in order to find a definition of a word, states that a defense attorney is a person representing a defendant in a lawsuit or a criminal prosecution. prosecution. Now, I don't, now, I don't know about you guys, but that sounds really cool to me. And to me, an, a defense attorney is someone you could consider a friend. Now, I know what most of you guys, I know what most of you guys were thinking. A friend is crazy. No, a friend, because defense attorneys want to be seen as friends, so you'll be able to trust them as much as they want you to trust them. Because you need to, you need to tell them everything that you know or what happened during that day of your of decision. And they they are friends because they're there to help you to prove that you're not guilty and they're there to protect you from bullies. And from bullies, I mean prosecutors, investigators, judges, and the jury. Um, in order, and they, they protect you by writing motions and statements on your behalf and they present it to the courts. And, not, and, the, and defense attorneys don't work your average 40 hours. They actually work 50 to 60 hours a week. And they and sometimes they don't even sleep because they're up working on cases most of the time. They're usually reading or writing statements a lot. And the average pay for attorneys is two hundred two hundred thousand dollars. But and it depends on how good your attorney is. Some attorneys actually charge you two hundred dollars, two hundred thousand dollars a case. And yeah, it just depends how good your attorney is. Okay, the types of attorneys and skills. Okay, according to the lawyeredu.org, an organization that helps law students organize their steps to become a lawyer, states that they are more than your typical defense attorney. They are bankruptcy, immigration, corporate, estate, family, and divorce attorneys. What a bankruptcy attorney is, is that it basically helps he or she helps you with your financial issues. He is there to he is there to advise you on what to spend and if you can spend the type of money you want. And he is also there to report your taxes. An immigration attorney well, con well right now they are being used, they're being hired more constantly because of our immigration act. And they're there to basically help people who are not who are undocumented to get the papers and become citizens of the United States. Corporate attorneys are there to help um, large cor corporations with deals, and if they get sued, they're there to present their case and help the corporation not be sued. Okay, family and divorce attorneys, oh, I'm sorry. Estate attorneys are there to help you if you wanna buy a, a house, they're there to advise you, and they're there to help you out, just like a corporate attorney. Family and divorce attorneys are basically for divorce, of course. If you're trying to divorce someone, they're there to help. 
and and who gets the custody if you have children who gets custody over children and family because um, nowadays we have gay couples and they want to be able to, to adopt kids so they're there to help with the adoption process and the type of skills that one must have is analytical and the personal researching speaking and writing analytical because again they read a lot of statements and cases so they constantly have to read and analyze the reading carefully in order to help their clients with their s statements. Interpersonal, like I said, interpersonal because they want to be seen as friends. They want to build that connection with their clients in order for their clients to trust them and help them out the, the best of their ability. Researching, researching goes with analytical because they have to research um, the reading and they have to find a lot of, well, in their statements, they have to research what type, what statements or quotes they can use to present to present the case, and they also have to research with the database of the courts on what the courts have on your client. So they have to use that. They have to research that to prove that they're not guilty. Speaking and writing. Oh, well, speaking is what um is very crucial because they they must be able to speak in front of a jury or against the, the jury, the judge, the, the, the prosecutor. Yeah. So they have to be able to present <laughs> their case in front of these people. And sometimes it's a lot of pressure because the other, the prosecutor, is trying to uh, constantly question questions the defense attorney. And he must stop in, his, in the middle of his speech and answer his question straight on. And writing because, again, they need to write motions and statements on their on the client's behalf and they must be really straightforward and very accurate on what they want to say in the writing and you c they, they need to be straightforward and accurate because judges um read a lot of statements and motions for from a lot of different cases and it basically helps the judges and if you're helping the judge it'll he'll be less crucial on your client or who you're presenting. According to um, the CaliforniaBar.gov, there are 21 law schools certified by the ABA. And these law schools, for example, are UC Davis, UCLA, UC Berkeley, and Pepperdine University. And they must go to law school, of course. <laughs> they, they, yeah, they must go to law school and they must, cert they must take the requirements that they need, the certain courses that they need to become an attorney, and then after all that, they must take the bar exam. And the bar exam consists of basically bangings, IQ, basically what you find in IQ test, that's what's on the bar exam. But the bar exam is 10 times harder than the IQ, so yeah, that's it. Well, if you, need, if you guys need an attorney in seven years from now, just call me, I'll, I'll be there shortly. <laughs> All right, cool. Thanks.